I've lived this patient journey uh, as a caregiver, and I know many of you have, and many of you will. I have a belief now that we do need to do more than deliver therapies and medicines. I believe we need a new paradigm. On the left, you see innovation. That's what we do so well. Our heritage, what we do great and breakthrough, advancing science, helping patients live longer, healthier lives. We got to keep doing that. But in addition to that, we have to prove our value. Prove our value by either reducing costs to the healthcare system, prove our value by improving the quality of life of patients, or prove our value by saving lives. And that's what we need to be a part of. We also need to help patients become empowered. We've all read the statistics of how few physicians there will be in the future and how many more patients will need help. So it's up to us to empower them, to give them the tools, the digital tools that they may need to make sure that they can make their own healthcare decisions. Those patients who are fearful, their caregivers who are also in emotional distress, the pain that they have, we need to look at the patient journey holistically, as a whole, not just where our medicines or our therapies really start. Where are those moments of truth for our therapies we talk about, but where are the moments of truth when they choose their care? Where are the moments of truth when they're trying to access their medication? I watched my sister who's stage three cancer, there's no stage four in multiple myeloma, struggle to get her medicine every month. When I first found out, she was crying, you know, I'm gonna miss my doses because I'm not getting my medicine between this fax and that PBM and this, that, and the other. She said, I'm gonna miss two days. And I was, I said, you can't miss two days. You have cancer. It's okay, sis, I missed six days last month. That cannot happen. We need to be a part of the solution that says, let's stop fighting about drug pricing and let's actually come together with payers, with the government, with policymakers, and let's actually do something that shows what the value is. Can we stop the supply and demand and really look at patient centricity to say, we can work together, we can collect the data, and if we don't prove our value, we shouldn't get paid. We do value-based contracting, right? We always know we're going to win when we sign those contracts. We know the adherence. We, we really need to take another step and say, really go at risk. Really say, I won't pay unless this provides the value that I say it will.